We purchased the resort in August of 2017 and uh, we've been working really hard so far on uh, creating the transformation of the property and uh, working with our staff and uh, uh, a world-class uh, group of consultants to, uh, to really uh, create a new vision for uh, Manalani. We've always told the employees that they would be the first ones to know of any kind of significant changes to the hotel and, uh, and promise them that we, they would, uh, we would always be honest and transparent with them. So on May 1st, uh, we told the employees that given the extent of the renovation, we would have to uh, close the hotel. Uh, we wanted to give them a lot of advance notice uh, and do it in a way that gave them the opportunity both to uh, have potential uh, transitional jobs that we can help them find, um, as well as uh, make sure they understood that everyone would be recalled back when we reopened in October of 2019. So right now the plan is scheduled to uh, close October 1st of this year. Uh, construction will take 12 to 14 months and uh, will be reopened as Manalani uh, and Auberge Resorts Collection in the fall of 2019. Yeah, we're excited uh, to announce today that we brought on Auberge Resorts as the manager uh, for Manalani. Um, I've known Auberge for 15 years. Uh, they have a tremendous reputation in the marketplace. Uh, more importantly, they have uh, a collection of hotels that are very unique and special and, and we feel that Manalani is a uh, terrific fit into that particular group. Um, their leadership is based on uh, people, so they really respect and support the culture and the people that are here at Manalani. And uh, the meetings over the last several days was to introduce uh, the, Ma the Auberge um, corporate team to our staff here at Manalani. Uh, we will be touching every aspect of the hotel, um, from the arrival in the lobby to the atrium, uh, to this, what we call the South Lawn, which is a lawn where the existing pool is. Uh, we're going to be spending well over $100 million on the renovation of the hotel. Uh, probably the most significant uh, items that somebody would see uh, in 2019 that don't exist today is the, the new atrium will be a gathering area and a, and a very dramatic one at that where people will be coming together probably pre or post dinner or just looking for a nice casual place to hang out during the day. We will be building three new pools on our south lawn. One will be an adult, one will be family, and one will be a cakey pool. Uh, and then um, the Bay Terrace restaurant is going to be totally re-engineered and will become uh, from a one meal restaurant will be a three meal restaurant uh, with an outstanding bar that people will be able to watch sunset every night at. Uh, well one of the reasons we chose Auberge is like I said is they have a a collection of, of hotels, but one of the most important factors in our decision was they really respect the culture and the land where they go and operate hotels. And uh, Manalani has such a deep and rich history of culture and, um, and just legacy of, the, of Hawaiian traditions here that we are excited that we can team up with somebody like Auberge who respects that and actually will work with our team to enhance it. So I think that will be a great outcome to Manalani. So we have, we have approximately 400 associates here uh, right now at Manalani. Um, as I said, uh, we are going to be trying to uh, find transitional jobs for them with the local resorts here next to us. We've already had outreach to those particular groups and we appreciate the support. Actually, when we open in 2019, we'll probably have uh, an additional 100 employees working at the hotel. So we actually see that we'll be creating more employment here uh, for the local community.